What is up guys, it is Revo here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a CSGO thumbnail. So to start this off, what we're going to do is go into Google and we're going to find a background for our uh, composition. You can get a background off your gameplay by going to your gameplay and pressing print screen and then copy and pasting it into Photoshop but for me I just typed in CSGO and I found a pretty good image here and what I'm going to do is copy it and you want to copy it before you go into Photoshop because what this automatically does is gets the resolution here and then if you go file new it will already have the resolution for you and then you can press control V and it fills the whole thing you don't have to wriggle around with it or anything like that if you have a background it's locked just click it unlock it and click that so you can't see the white layer behind it and yeah we've got our background here and what you want to do first of all is press control U which is the shortcut to get the hue and saturation up or you could go the long way and search for it here which is there you can click it same thing doesn't matter but you know we're just gonna press control U for now a lot easier and you're gonna go to saturation and put it all the way down it basically just makes it black and white and press OK and obviously you can see here that it's way too light so what you're gonna do is you can add a new layer here and then here's a little shortcut that I learned is if you go over to the set foreground color change it to black and press alt and then backspace it turns to that color so that's something that I've learned or you can go the long way around I don't mind but this is probably the quickest way for you what we're gonna do is go over to opacity and turn it down to where you <coughs> sorry I'm ill to where you like it uh, I think that's pretty good and if you think it's a bit too dark another trick is to just zoom out here go to your brush I quite like doing this, turning it to white and putting a nice little, don't go like on it because you'll get this really harsh light, just go off it and if you want to scroll just press alt and then scroll with your mouse or your keypad, just go slightly on it, press it like that and it gives you like a nice ambient light, it's a bit too light I think, there we go, that's nice, so you can see the difference there from that to that pretty nice and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your gun that you used or say if you wanna do a face cam you can do that as well same concept but what I did easily is just got an AWP here and instead of like trying to uh, pen tool it you literally can just put up, no background, search for it, and if it has these checker things in the background, you're pretty safe. So just um, you rather save the image, or you can copy it, and then you oops, just zoom in a little bit here, and you can paste it. All right, okay. Um, that's a problem. I don't know if that happened because I pasted it. Let me just save it and see if it makes a difference uh, doo -doo -doo. save it to your desktop or anything so you can delete it easily afterwards uh, file open where is it there it is there we go we're all good and you see it's already cut out for you and then if you want to move this to another uh, project which is here you just drag and click and wait and then drop it pretty self-explanatory you can uh, make it bigger just press shift and uh, drag otherwise it will distort it and you really don't want that um, probably want to rasterize oh, it won't let me okay never mind it's okay just leave it like that that's pretty good okay we're good right we can get on to the text now um if you want i you know because some people do this i i don't like doing this you can press stroke and then you can add like you know like a stroke to it like that 
if you guys are like that kind of thing. I personally don't, but if you want to do that, that's how you want, that's how you can do it. Okay, so now on to the text. So uh, let's go to the text that I use. What's it called? True, true lies regular. You can get it from Defont. And let's just say, um, let's go with C. Let's go. Make it a lot bigger. Probably even bigger than that. Yeah, that'll do. 400 CSGO right there. Doop. And then make another text layer in a different text, a simpler text. My favourite text is Nexa Bold. There it is. Again, you can get it from the font. Make it a lot smaller. Let's say 200. Actually, probably less than that. Ooh. 100 and two ooh, always put it in caps to tour real because it doesn't look good otherwise uh, we can make that a bit bigger you can just mess around with it you know whatever you want to do and what you want to do here is just overlap it a little bit and you'll see why in a minute just like that as much or as little as you want okay so now what we're gonna do is this is the tricky part which took me a long time to understand probably take you a long time as well what you're gonna do is press control or command and you're gonna see here a little arrow pointy mousey thing comes up with a square click it and it will highlight the tutorial okay and then what you want to do here is press select modify expand I put it as 10 pixels, you can put it as 8 or as big as little as you want, but for this example I use 10, and you press OK, and what it's going to do here, it's going to cut out whatever's here, you'll understand in a minute, now what you do here, once this border is up, you're going to press your other text, and press backspace, oh, I had this problem before, Oh yeah, you need to rasterize the layer. Sorry about that, guys. Rasterize type, done, and then just press backspace. And you see how it pops now? And what's happened is it's cut into the... Uh, <laughs> I was pointing with my finger there, we can't even see. Uh, it's cut into the CSGO layer. I think I've done it a bit too much there, but it's okay. You guys can do as much as little as possible. It cuts into the CSGO layer, and I think this looks really really nice so what you want to do here is get a layers pack you can get it from anywhere um, you know literally just type in Google or on YouTube layers pack download it and you'll be good I really like this color like a greeny color it's very very nice so I'm going to use that as the example for you um, and what you can do once you've got your layers pack is copy layer style, go back onto composition, and then press uh, paste layer style on there. And see how it's uh, got like a, a layer style to it. Very, very nice. And what I like doing is having colour on the first text and then a metallic look on the second text text if you've seen that on other previous thumbnails you will be able to uh, distinguish this so then I go up to um, metals over here all different types of metals I like using silver personally so again copy layer style um, here we go and paste it on tutorial do, 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 do. where's paste there we go paste now see how it's uh, distinguished now it looks very 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 nice and then final thing you can do here is put a uh, nice actually what we're going to do is going to merge the layers so you can press command or control click on the other one right click merge layers so now it's just one composition here and this is what you can do to make it 3d so what we're going to do is press control or command and it comes up with these border things and you click on the corners and what this is going to do is distort the layer okay and you can distort it any way you want I quite like I haven't got the hang of this completely but 
that kind of thing and then getting this one and dragging it in a bit and then ooh, what the hell am I doing I don't even know but yeah you can distort it as much or as little as possible like it doesn't even matter it's just to, um, I don't even know if I like that but you know let's just go with it let's just go with it if it looks awful it looks awful <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. So there you go. You can't even see the CSGO now. Let me just let's just edit this a bit here. I'm not liking this. There we go. That's that's slightly better. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll have something like that. that. That's cool. Um, have it whatever you like. It, it really doesn't matter. I'm actually gonna make this slightly bigger. There we go. Apply. There we go. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen is you're going to press control J which is a shortcut for shortcut for copy and then you're just going to press the down arrow a couple of times and what this does is if you can see it just makes it a little 3D um, actually let's just bring it up you uh, copy put the last one down control J again click the last one pull it down and we could do it one more but because this is very 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 glowy you probably don't because with the f like flaring layers it kind of distorts it a little bit so we'll leave it as three and to make it really look 3d we're going to merge these not the top one because you'll see what happens with the top one okay if i merge the top one and because what we're going to do is um like l lighten it it makes it go all weird I I I'll explain to you what happens if we um, press control U with this and we turn down the lightness that's what happens okay so we do not want that whatsoever so what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge these two layers here uh, merge layers press control U turn down the lightness and see how it looks more 3D now. That's what it does. Don't turn it down too much because then it, it, it just ruins the effect. So just get it so it looks 3D. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's how you make it look 3D. Again, we could make this look a slightly bigger. Oh, what the hell have I just done? All right, okay. And then merge these layers. I'm actually forgetting how to do everything. Like I think I'm slightly retarded. Uh, merge layers. Now make it bigger. Yoop. There we go. And then what you want to do here is create a new layer. Final thing. Um, where are we with this? Where's the brush? Here we go. Brush. I don't know why it's done this. It usually has a circle, but it won't let me see the circle I don't know why and you're gonna press a color that you like from the layer so let's just pick that one or maybe a darker yeah that'll do and then you're gonna go on the edges like that now you can leave it like that or you can go through the layers and see which one suits it the most Usually colour dodge or overlay work, but with the green it just doesn't seem to work very well. So that's why I've decided not to use that one. So you know what, let's use... that one that one's quite nice and once you've done all this like it's not even hard just to press hue and saturation and actually just change like the blue looks quite nice it's like a purpley color you can go to like an orange like that orange looks pretty dope actually probably gonna leave it as that and just again mess with the layers see that overlay that doesn't look that bad soft light and then we can add some more if you want just to make it more orange but that doesn't look that good so 
just gonna you know things like that just mess around with it that's how you guys can do it so yeah that's about it for this tutorial guys hope you guys did enjoy if you did don't forget to smash that like button down below if you have any tips for me on how i can make it even better let me know if i've done anything wrong let me know but yeah that's it from me guys i've been revo hope you guys enjoyed peace